The text formula equals text on a date field is pretty helpful. So I'm going to text B3, and I'm going to say uh, quote D, single D. I get the day of the month. If I change that single D to an M, I get the month and naturally the year with a Y. Let's go back to the D, and I'm going to make it two Ds. No change on the 20, but when I drag it down, my single digits are now consistent. If I do 3D, I get the text version of the day. That's all right. You can, you can get as excited as you want. So, it's better than if right, this is what I've seen folks do. If this day, then it's Wednesday and Thursday, or, or break it to uh, mid one through three, like all those things. So here it is in text format. So careful, careful, we're going to add another, we're going to add another one. <laughs> we'll get the fully qualified day of the week. The same is true for month. MM will give you the three-digit uh, version of the month. Um, if you do 5D, nothing. Excel just says you've done too much. Equals days, you're working too hard, Sean. Equals days. So we all love to do date math. Date math. Days is a really nice alternative to some of that cumbersome date math. So I'm going to say I want the difference between B3 and F3, which is December 20th and November 20th. That's it. Oh, thank you. And it counts them for us. And I can repeat that for each one. <laughs>